I really like reading about fish, and I'm, <laughs> I like fish, I like collecting fish. So I was reading about sharks and how extremely developed they are. They're one of the oldest creatures on Earth, and they don't get cancer, and they're one of, they live the longest in the sea, or one of the fish that live the longest in the sea, and their immune system is very developed, and the antibodies are very small. So they can neutralize multiple viruses and um, multiple kinds of cancers, and sharks don't really get sick. So that's why we started the research. And we combined shark antibodies with HIV viruses and hepatitis C, hepatitis B, and cytomegalovirus um, under ELISA testing. And we got all positive results, which means that there was binding between primitive shark antibodies and, um, and these, these human viruses, which means they have the ability to neutralize these viruses. And, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, we could research that and use that for human purposes and stuff. tested the reaction between breast cancer and shark antibodies. And these are the pictures here. These dark ones indicate positive linkage, which means that the shark antibody is actually bound to the breast cancer cells, the MCF and T47D lines. And uh, that's a very good thing. I mean, that could be used if not diagnostically, I mean, if not therapeutically, diagnostically at least. We did this all in vitro under machines and tests like that. And we wanted to find a way in which we can clone these cells, these shark antibody producing splenocytes, so that we don't have to like, keep killing sharks to attain a sufficient supply. You know, you can just get it from one shark. So basically, we started with the cloning by fusing the shark splenocyte with mouse, with mouse myeloma, SP2, which is mutated spleen. And what that gives us is a hybridoma, a 2N cell that keeps dividing like cancer, but producing antibodies at the same time. So basically, we immortalize these splenocytes to keep giving us a sufficient supply of antibodies. You know, instead of killing multiple sharks, you could just kill one shark, I mean, sacrifice one shark, <laughs> and attain that sufficient supply, so, yeah.